I'm Rob Parks, and we'll be here Fox 1340 AM Sports Redskins coverage team. And we're talking about day three of training camp, which was the first day of pass, first day of real football. So first was military appreciation day. You got to interact with some of the crowd. Oh yeah. How, how, how was that? Um, it was it was great interacting with the vets. Um, you know, we appreciate your service. Uh, Air, all military, Air Force, Army, Coast Guard, wherever you were serving, we appreciate you for sure. Definitely. Um, yeah, I interacted with us, um, some guys in the crowd. Everybody was great. Everybody was gracious. I appreciate you guys all. Good, good. Now back to the field now. Um, most training camps, defense has come in a little bit ahead of the offense. The offense is more of a time and rhythm thing. Um, what did you see? Just just an observation with the pads? Um, with the pads, I mean, guys are getting after it. Um, it you know, it was more than yesterday. Guys had the pads on. Guys are getting after it for real. Case Keenum. He looked good. He had a couple shaky moments and threw two picks. Um, that's not that's not good. But it's day three of training camp, so you know, uh, we we'll let that slide. Haskins, you know, he played it safe today. He looked pretty good. He didn't really. Go, he went long one time to uh, McLaurin. McLaurin. He dropped the pass, but I think that was passing the fairness. I was standing right there, like it happened right in front of me. That was passing the fairness. But um, other than that, man, you know, the defense is flying around. Everybody is flying around. Man. What do you think about that? Yeah. Um, defense. Right side of the head of the offense. On one on one lineman drills, the, the technique and the power of Ron Kane and Jonathan Allen um, at Ionidas. And Montez Sweat had one play where he literally took Eric Flowers with one arm and pushed him back into the quarterback. Right. So the defensive line is definitely the strength of this team. Secondary, like you said, Dunbar had three interceptions two off of Keenan, one off of Haskins. Right. And Landon's covering. Uh, Vernon Davis down the field, Norman's going good on his side. Um, the linebackers, Boston, and um, Sean Deion Hamilton are flying around the field. The defense is great. Um, I like Sean Deion Hamilton. I like, I like what he's doing. I like that guy. Like yeah, Coach Grubel mentioned him this morning when I asked about him, and he said he's probably healthy. People forget that he had a, a very bad injury at Alabama his senior year, and Redskins drafted him well, so he's finally, finally healthy. And trusting his body again now so he can see it on the field. Um, Colt was mysteriously absent today. Apparently, he had a day off, which was a little shock to um, all of us. And right. this was the case's day to kind of grasp that starting position. And he, he regressed. He, he yeah, had two he, interceptions. He, he had a few other he passes. He definitely that, didn't seize it. I mean, yeah. he didn't help his cause, but passes is a rookie. Um, so they're kind of hesitant to just throw them in there week one. I mean, so we'll see what happens. Uh, camp yeah. progresses. They, they say it's an open competition, but truthfully, with the offensive line issues they have, Haskins should be a last resort to start week one. And that's not a knock on Haskins. Yeah, Haskins has all the ability. That's your first round draft pick. You got to protect him. Yeah. And so um, it's going to come down to Casey and Cole because they give you the best chance to win now, and they can protect themselves a little bit better. And which is what you want to do until Haskins. Really gets the offense, gets acclimated to the NFL, and he can hit the ground. Right? And I would say with the offense, you know, they need to develop some kind of identity, but they don't know who the starting quarterback is. So once they know that, then things will come together, I feel. The, uh, they do have an identity. Yeah. It's spreading the football. And Andrew yeah. Peterson, Darius Geis, Chris Thompson, Byron Marshall, we Zumar Dow, all ball. five of them are great running backs. And it's going to be a numbers game where one of those five is not going to be there. And we all know that Chris Thompson will be on the team. We know guys will be on the team. We know AP will be on the team. So it's going to come down to Pete Ryan and, and um, Byron Marshall. And that's going to be a thing to watch. How much do they play on special teams? Because that fourth running back has to play special teams. So that that's going to be a um, thing to watch going through camp as well as just seeing the tackle situation. Um, they brought in Corey Robinson today. He was with the third team. He looks okay. He looks rusty. So they they have to get some help on that left side of the line. And that's going to be his, um, the first situation they're going to have to fix. I mean, granted, it's his first day in camp. You know, right. He just, right. He just signed, so um, he's going to look rusty. But give him some time. He should be fine. Um, well, you know, like you said, the offensive line, that's the number one priority to show up. So let's see what the Redskins can do as far as that. But other than that, it was a great day in camp. Yeah. yeah. I, I feel like it, it's good, always good to get the pads on. Um, just, you know, the full context, it's better evaluator of talent. And it still can't fully evaluate because that line's not quite right, so you can't evaluate everything you really want to. 
but it's good. It's, there's talent here, and there's a lot of young talent on the Redskins roster. So it may not mean 2019 playoffs, Super Bowl, but it may mean 2020, 2021, when these, got, these kids are ready to really play, that they take off and finally take, take control of the NFL. Well, you never know. I mean, it's the NFL. You never know what can happen. That's true. So. I mean, any, anything is up for grabs in the NFL. Every, every game's a dog fight pretty much in the NFL, so we'll see what happens. All right. That, that's our recap of day three. Um, they do practice tomorrow. Um, then there'll be an off day, so tomorrow I'll probably definitely need no pads. We'll probably just shells. And then there'll be a day off Monday. So, this is Felix Romero. It's Rob Parks. And we're um, signing off here from the Bonds and Coors training camp in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.